Hey, in the past year, you probably realized that some of your friends and maybe even some of your acquaintances actually voted for Trump non-ironically. Some of them maybe did it because they're just angry. Some people did it because, you know, he's a Republican and they just voted Republican because that's what they do. And then, of course, there are the people that voted for Trump because they agree with his racist and close-minded views. And unfortunately, if you're anything like me, you've realized that you know some of these people and you kind of feel responsible, like, should you help them change your mind? How can you change their mind? How can you make them realize that Donald Trump is not someone worthy of anyone's support? And if you've had those kinds of thoughts, by now you've probably gotten into many arguments online and in real life and have realized that you have a really hard time convincing people to stop supporting this individual. So how can we do it? I want to talk to you today about how actually trying to convince somebody, unfortunately, is a waste of our time and what we can do instead to use our energy in a more productive way and get more people to support our causes and support individuals that are good-hearted. At the beginning of this year, I remember seeing a study being linked on Reddit that talked about how when we try to convince people to change their mind, it actually makes them hold on to their beliefs even more strongly. And it really got me thinking about how many arguments I get into or I used to get into because I don't do it anymore. How many arguments I would get into online trying to convince people, you know, to just think about how stupid Donald Trump is and why are you supporting him? And um, it actually reminded me of when I first went to school, uh, when I first went to college, I went to a school where they had a big emphasis on living sustainably, uh, which means, you know, recycling, using less toilet paper, using less water when we shower, which are things that I agree with and they're good for the environment. However, they they're, they have so many posters and they're so like um, vocal about it that when I got to campus and I saw all these posters in the bathroom stalls about how you should be turning on the turning off the lights when you leave and like using very little toilet paper, it actually really pissed me off, which is odd because I actually hold all of those beliefs and I do that at home. I recycle. I do my best to take shorter showers now but I just felt like someone's trying to shove this these beliefs and these ideas down my throat and first it was really irrational but I really disliked hearing and seeing all of that information even though inside deep down inside I agreed with it um, but I just couldn't make sense of it at the time and seeing this study reminded me of of this instant in my instance in my life during college, but it also took me back to when I used to get in a lot of arguments, especially in my comments YouTube section, about how you know a lot of people sometimes comment in my videos like, "Well, convince me of this. Tell me why this is gonna work. This doesn't hasn't worked anywhere else." And at first, I would engage in that and I would try to convince the people, and we just got into a really long argument. And eventually, and I even, I think I've even mentioned it in some of my previous videos, that eventually I just stopped answering those, um, the, answering to those comments. And I decided that I'm not here to convince anyone. I want to talk to people that have already convinced themselves. And that was just like the conclusion I came to after so many, getting into so many arguments online. But oddly enough, that's the right way to go. Um, what I want to talk to you today is about how can we get people on our side without having to convince them? Because when we try to convince and persuade somebody, especially when it's about an issue that is really important to them, they if they cave in and they give in to what you're saying, it actually makes them feel like, well, then they don't have a, a backbone. They don't stand up for their own beliefs. So they fight that much more so that they can prove that they have their own beliefs and that they're going to stand for them 
and you're not gonna make them change their mind just because you wanted to get into an argument with them and prove that you the way that you think is better. So I wanted us to start thinking about how can we connect with people that already think like us instead of trying to convince people that don't think like us. So how do we convince others to join us in whatever good cause that we're really excited about? I think that is going to have to be with our actions because if we can't engage with words, if words are going to get us into arguments and into fights, then we need to let our actions inspire the people around us. And if you think about it, the biggest changes that you made in your life, they have happened because something changed how you saw the world. So every single person that, for example, is maybe racist, they're going to have to have a personal experience that allows them to see another human being from a different race, uh, that uh, an experience that allows them to understand that they're the same and that there's no better or worse race and nobody can convince you or something like that. Every single person has to go through personal experiences that are going to make them grow. And we can't create those experiences artificially for other people either. So I think what we can do the best is behave in the way that we want to behave and change our own behavior and hope that we inspire the people around us. And I think once we begin to do that, the people that are going to be attracted to us, not only are they going to believe similar things that we believe, but, but they're going to be connected to us based on positive feelings and actions. Uh, whereas if you try to convince somebody, you you kind of were attracted to that person, connected with that person through an argument. And, you know, m maybe that's not always a negative thing, but... I think it's much more powerful if it comes from an individual's um, own experiences and own desire to change. And and if if you think about the things that you most cared about, most likely somebody didn't have to convince you. It came from your heart to want to do those things and want to change the world in whatever way you want to change it. And again, like we keep talking about this. To be a revolutionary in the 21st century, it's to be a revolutionary with no audience. It just comes down to what little actions do you want to commit that you think will make the world better? And not because they're going to change other people's minds, but because you feel in your heart that you want to do this. Um, in the past year that I've been gone from YouTube, I actually carried out an, exp an experiment in my life. Um, I don't remember if I spoke about it in my second to last video because I was, I think I was too scared to voice it and commit to it, but um, I've been thinking for a while that I wanted to be vegetarian, and for a, for a while I wanted to make a video about it on this channel, but I was too afraid that if I said it and I couldn't carry it out, that of course I would look bad, but actually in the past year, I actually went ahead and attempted to be a vegetarian. And I was, a, I could do, I did it for about six or eight months before I decided to start eating um, a little bit of protein, animal protein again. You know, when I eat a vegetarian diet, for example, even if it's just five days a week, it makes me feel like I'm lowering the demand for animals being killed and that makes me feel good and that needs to be enough we need to act just because we feel good and hopefully one day somebody asks me why don't I eat meat and maybe they'll be inspired maybe they won't um, but I can't really go and like be vegetarian or vegan with the intention that I'm going to change people because it's going to become a conflict. So what I'm trying to say is, try not to become cynical when you're faced with so many, you know, Trump supporters and just people that have different close-minded beliefs in general because it's not going to go anywhere if we try to convince them. I think we're going to have an easier time gathering people that are have the same goals, the same desires if we act 
out what we want to change in the world. And so hopefully we all start getting into less online arguments and less <laughs> arguments in real life um, during this crazy Trump presidency. Hopefully Trump is going to be getting impeached soon, so we're not going to have be having to deal with like realizing that our friends are secretly, you know, Trump supporters or racist or sexist. But I think in a way it's actually good that we've realized how many people are okay being racist or are okay pretending that the people that they support aren't racist because it just lets us know like how much more has to change in order for the world, you know, to be better. And it's it's not as easy as like, oh, just having a conversation with somebody. It's gonna be a more silent process. You have to change your life in whatever small way that you can. And whether we change other people's minds or not, that needs to be enough. And we can't wait to have an audience or we can't wait to, we can't get cynical when we try to convince people and they don't wanna be convinced. Maybe we should be let go of the idea that we can convince people. Um, because more often than not, they're just gonna hold on to their beliefs even more strongly, unfortunately. And I hope this is not like a cynical or depressing video. Um, my hope is that you actually stop having those those moments of cynicism when you start engaging in, with arguments, especially online, because people become very combative sometimes just because they're bored. Um, but um, that shouldn't deter us from what we actually want to do and accomplish in this world. So I promise that I'll be making more videos um, more often. So I hope you liked today's video. It's shorter one than usual but hopefully i can start making more and um please sign up to my website so that you can get a notification via email when a new video is posted because now youtube is not i mean youtube has never done the best job at that so just <laughs> sign up on my website for my newsletter if you want to be notified of any time that i post something new and as i said in my last video i will begin i have began posting more stuff on my website, more personal stuff, more stuff um, that has to do with my art. Um, I'm gonna be posting it all on my website from now on and you can expect more content um, on a weekly or you know more times a month than just the videos. So go on maymaylingling.com and sign up for my newsletter and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. Thank you for watching if you still are.